Hi, my name is Michaela Caldwell and I run the Instagram account for House and Boy 1930s. So my job is I'm a project manager. I own my own project management consultancy called I have Projects. So I mainly work in construction. Uh, I have two kids and a pet ferret called Yogi. <laughs> and this is my first proper renovation project. I've owned houses before, but it's mainly been decorating, so this is the first time I've actually done any construction work. My interior style is quite eclectic. I don't actually think I've got a particular style. I'm just one of those people who trolls the magazines and the Instagram and the Pinterest to see what they like and then try to throw it all together and see if it works. So my home when I first moved in was lived in by an older gentleman and it hadn't been decorated for some time so it was um, very loved. The kitchen looked like a sauna, it was um, all wooden panelled. The, I think the guy liked to paint, so he painted every door in the house a different colour. So yeah, he did a lot of work. I think to start off with a renovation, you really need to know what you want. It's an expensive mistake to make if you change your mind halfway through a renovation project, especially if you're doing some kind of extension. So do your research, make sure you know exactly what you want, what your style is, um, get all the social media and look at all the inspiration out there before you even look at drawings and anything like that. This was the first room that we renovated in the house. The whole house needed to be refurbishing, so we wanted somewhere that we could retreat to away from all the mess. So we put quite a lot of effort into getting this room decorated within a couple of months of moving in. It was probably the one that needed the least work to it as well, so it needed a new fireplace, new plastering, we stripped the floorboards. It was nothing major that we needed to do in here. And um, yeah, this can become a little hideaway for the next year. My favourite room in the house is probably the kitchen, um, just because it's so light and we can get all the family around, um, we can use the whole space, we have parties in there, big dinners, um, but I also have just done the bathroom as well, so that's a close second. To renovate the kitchen, we had to put the four metres onto the back of the house, uh, so it was a five months construction project. Um, which involved making a makeshift kitchen in a hall with a decorating table and a microwave and not being able to cook for a long time, so it was pretty horrendous. But it was worth it in the end because we've got a huge space now that we can have a um, real good family life in. My living room renovation was part of my kitchen extension, so this room was actually in the original house, but we extended out the back, so we needed to make it work as one space. So the only thing about this room is it's quite dark because there's no um, window that goes out to the extension over there. Um, but we had to do all the plastering, we had to put the floors down, um, painting, everything you think needed to do was done in this room. And um, the only thing that's left to do though is to put in a nice little burner. My proudest DIY renovation moment is really sad. It um, involves doing a really small bit of tiling on my fireplace, which is next to me now. There's about six tiles, but I was so chuffed with myself and I managed to do it myself. My biggest renovation advice to anybody is to get loads of quotes and any trades that you're know, getting building work off, especially if you're doing something big like an extension, get at least three quotes and you can check that you're getting value for money. If you're anything like me with interior design, um, you probably just look at everything on the Instagram and you like what you see but you're not sure if it goes together. So one of my biggest tips for interiors is to get yourself a mood board and you don't have to do that physically, you can just do it on a PowerPoint where you cut out all the things you like, stick them on a one piece of paper and you can see if they go together. That's how I do it anyway because I'm not a professional.